Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Earlier today, Ubiquiti released a huge Unify Protect update, Unify Protect 4.0. This update brings a ton of new features and improvement to the overall Protect system. I'll leave the release notes down below for you all to read, but let's jump straight into the Protect update. I'm now on the dashboard of Protect and you could already see that things have changed quite a bit. Right on the front, we have our cameras showing. There are currently nine cameras showing. But if we wanted to see more cameras, all we need to do is scroll down. So that is a great new small change, but I think it's very useful. Another change, if we look down at the bottom, we could see this change global viewer quality. Clicking on this, we could either have it at automatic, low, or we could put it up to high quality. Also in the left-hand corner, we could see our Unify Protect storage, how much storage we have. We could see the cameras that are there. I have 12. And then we could see the IoT devices, the storage capacity, and the earliest recording. The next new update is this video archiving. So we've been able to do this a little bit with Google Drive, but now we could select multiple cameras or all of our cameras at once in specific time ranges. And they've also added Microsoft OneDrive to this. So if we wanna export, all we need to do is click on the export button. From here, we could add different cameras. I'm gonna select all my cameras and then press save. We could also choose a time range. I'm gonna choose April 1st all the way up until today. And then we have different selections of what we could do. So we could download directly to this device or we could do Google Drive or we could do the OneDrive. I'm gonna select Google Drive and then I'm gonna press download. On the right hand side, you can see that it's all uploading now to my Google Drive. You wanna make sure you have enough space. Now to add your OneDrive account, all we need to do is go over to our settings and then you can see under system, this cloud drive account. I currently have Google Drive associated, but we could add another account and we could get started if you want to add that option. We could also do the video archiving directly from the playback of one of our cameras. We could see that I'm looking at my Cadio camera and Nilly is asleep up top. If we want to archive anything, there's this little square with a down arrow, and that is the video archiving. We just need to click on that, and then we could select the date and time range that we want, and we could also do it a time lapse, and then push to OneDrive, Google Drive, or our local machine. This next improvement is probably my favorite out of the whole Protect 4.0, and it's the ability to add quick shortcuts. So if we look in the right hand corner, we could see two camera icons that look like the G5 Flex, and that's to add the shortcut. In the left hand corner, it's prompting us saying, click anywhere on the camera view to add the shortcut. I have one more camera in this catio about here, and that's where I'll click. We're gonna have to select the camera that we want the quick shortcut to, which will be the catio, and then save. Now from here, if we want to jump to that other camera, all we need to do is click on the icon and it will bring us right up. Now a major benefit to this, if we need to do an investigation, we could just add quick shortcuts and watch it all through our playback and I'm gonna demonstrate that now. Earlier this morning, I took a walk around my house just to show this feature off. You could see my arm in the doorbell right now. And if we press play, I've already added these other shortcuts around the cameras. So this was playback footage that we'll be able to go back on and investigate if we need to. So let's press the play icon and we'll see me walking out. So once I get a little bit closer to the AI bullet, which I have here, I could click on it and then we'll see me go out towards the driveway. Now we see me on the driveway and I have another G5 bullet on the driveway, so we'll click that button. And then we're walking down towards the side of my house towards my G3 Flex. We can see the back of my head right now and I have a camera on my shed going into my backyard and we'll click on that camera. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit to get into my backyard as the gate handle wasn't lifting properly, but you could see my hands moving. Now as I'm walking into my backyard, I have another G5 bullet on my shed and you'll see me walking towards the grass. And here's the cats in the catio and we have this last camera, the G4 bullet on the actual catio and I'm walking past it. And this is a great feature if you're having to do some investigations. Instead of selecting each camera individually and scrolling through the timeline to see what was happening. This next update is for the G4 Pro doorbell and it's been long requested. This is for custom messages or little video clips for your doorbell screen. We could see the doorbell message here and currently it's showing that I'm doing something from The Simpsons. The typical one or the one that was always on was this little dog that was saying hello, but you could now upload your own 
which I am really thankful for. There's a few new updates to the recognition tab. You could see that I'm already in here twice. So we want to merge those together as it's the same person. And all we need to do is click on this merge faces. I'm going to select the two that are myself and then we're going to select merge and that will bring all the images into one. And an update for vehicles, we have vehicles of interest. We could see that we have this Rogers van on my street and we could click the settings wheel. From here, we could click on vehicles of interest. If we click on the eye icon, it says you will be notified once this vehicle has been detected by the cameras, which I think is a great new feature. This next update is really cool and it's done under our detections. If we go to the left hand corner and we just select one camera, which I'll do the backyard gate, we could see this new area pop up that kind of has a grid on it. And what this is, it's an area of interest. Currently, all the clips from this camera are shown below, but if we only care about a specific area, we could highlight that. So we'll say my gate all the way over to the right. Now it's only showing in that area or when somebody crossed that area, which I think is a great new addition. Now the next update adds the ability to do patrolling on the G4 industrial PTZ camera. So if we look and we see this little squiggly line, that is our patrols. But before we do patrols, we need to set up presets. So we could click on the preset icon and then I'm going to go a bit to the left and then I'm going to press the S button, which will save our first preset. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit. We'll press S again. We'll go over to the right hand side. We'll press S and then we'll go back up. Now that we have our presets saved, we could do the patrolling and then we need to select which presets we want to be a part of the patrol. So we could create the patrol and then we'll select all of the presets that I just saved. Now we need to give this patrol a name. I'm just going to call it default. And then we have a preset duration and that duration is between 10 seconds and one minute. We're going to leave it to 10 seconds and then we'll press create. From here to start the patrol, we just need to hit this play icon and it's going to go on patrol. So after 10 seconds, we're going to see this move over to the other preset and I'll show you that. It went to the second preset, then after another 10 seconds, it's going to go to the third and then so on and so forth. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and then I'll show you how to end the presets. All right, now that we're on our fourth preset that we saved to end the patrolling, all we need to do is stop the patrol and that's it. One thing I really do wish they allowed us to do is have it from one second all the way up to a minute. I find that a little bit slow in between the presets of 10 seconds. The next thing we're going to look at is if we click on one of our cameras and then we go into recording mode and scroll down, we now have this option for different encoding. And if we hover over the eye icon, it says enhanced improves video quality while reducing storage size in optimizing video stream. And then we have standard, which improves playback compatibility for older and less capable devices. So this will be a difference between the H.264 codec and 265. We also now have that recording resolution. So it's set at 2K, which is standard for the AI bullet, but we could reduce that to HD if we want. And hovering over the eye icon, again, it says lowering the recording resolution can free up NVR capacity. The selected resolution will affect live streaming, recording, and video compression. Camera encoding is only available on the G4, G5, and the AI cameras. In Unify Protect 4.0, they have made some great improvements, so let's read this top paragraph. Unify Protect 4.0 introduced re-architected NVR Core Engine, a major breakthrough in performance that offers a significantly faster user experience and increases camera capacity by up to 20% for all Unify consoles. And that is a major improvement. And then we have the scalability, which we already touched on for the camera encoding, as well as going from 2K to HD. The last thing we're gonna look at is the recording manager. And we have the ability to select all our cameras, HD cameras, 2K, 4K, AI, or just in between, whatever we want, we could select. I'm gonna click on all of the cameras. On the right hand side, you see that we have recording settings and these settings will push to all of the cameras that we want in this group. You could think of this as a bulk update to all of your cameras, which is a very nice new feature. Now that was a pretty massive update and I'm even more impressed with Unify Protect. We now finally have PTZ patrolling, custom doorbell messages, vehicle of interest, camera shortcut, which is my favorite and a whole lot more. Let me know what you think of the Unify Protect 4.0 update. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.